How we doing everybody? This is That R Nerd here again with another video. This time we're going to try to calculate a p-value uh, from a t-distribution. So this is really really similar to what we did for the z-distribution with only a few changes. Uh, so this time uh, we're just going to put mu in here. So again this example is from Let's say uh, a group of tomatoes is equal to six ounces. We know the, the mean is equal to six ounces. So that's our null hypothesis. We think that the mean of the weight of the tomatoes is different than six ounces. So for this, we need to calculate a two-sided p-test, or a two-sided t-test, and find a, a p-value for it. So the first thing, our mu is equal to our null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is that it's equal to 5 ounces. Uh, when we take our sample, so this is the difference between a z-test and a t-test, right? Is if we know the standard deviation or if we don't. So let's say we don't know the standard deviation, and the standard deviation of our sample is equal to 2 ounces. Let's say our sample size is equal to 20, so we'll say n is equal to 20, and then our sample average, not S bar, but Z bar, is equal to 6. So let's say the average of the weights from the tomatoes that we took is, is 6 ounces. So this is where it gets a little different. So again, if we want to run this code, we can. So this gives us our mu, our n, our standard deviation, our Z bar. So this time, instead of making a z, we're going to have to make a, a t value. And for this, our t is equal to, again, really similar. So our z bar minus our mean, our null hypothesis, divided by s, divided by the square root of our sample size, which is n. So if we run that code, it'll print out up here for us, and it will also print out down here for us. So our t is equal to 2.23. Again, if you saw the last video, this is exactly equal to our, our t value. The difference comes in uh, right here when we're calculating our, our p value. So our p value is going to be 2 times, and for this one the code is pt minus abs of t. And the real difference comes here, the degrees of freedom is equal to n minus 1. So if we run that code, there it is, there's our p-value, 0 0.0375. Again, if our alternative hypothesis was that we think that it's greater than or less than, we can run this code and get a one-tailed test simply by taking out the two times number. So this gives us our, our p-value for a one-sided t-test down there. Alright, hopefully this was of some help to you. If uh, this was of some help, it would be helpful for me if you could click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you want more help with our problems. And uh, hopefully you have a great day. Hopefully this helped out with any homework or assignments that you have.